Next, I'm going to show you several examples about the usage of the normal distribution. So example one is to find percentage below a value. Let's see the statement. So the mean value of the weight of a particular brand of cereal for the past year is 0.297 kilogram, which is equivalent to 10.5 ounce, with a standard deviation of 0.024 kilogram. And assuming normal distribution, find the percent of the data that falls below the lower specification limit of 0.274 kg. So from the description of the population, we can tell that the mean of the population is 0.297, right? the mean weight of the cereal, and then the standard deviation is 0.024. And now this 0.274 is defined as the lower specification limit. So any package of the cereal that fall below this limit is now considered to be qualified. So we want to find the percentage below xi, which equals to the 0.274. So the first step is to standardize the xi to z, right, to a normal distribution value. And this z equals to the xi minus mu divided by sigma, which plug in by plugging in the numbers equals to 0.274 minus 0.297 divided by 0.024. And this gives us minus 0.96. And now you need to go to the table A and then to find what is the value associated with minus 96. And this area, if you read that number, this area should be 0.1685 or 16.85%. So this slide shows you how to find the percentage below the z value when the z equals to minus 0.0 up uh, 0.96 right so the z value is minus 0.9 and then the second digit after the decimal point is 6 right so you use this line this row and this column to locate the area under the normal curve for z equals to minus 0.96. That's how we get this 0 0.1685 or equivalently 16.85%. So exam example two asks you, asks you to compute the percentage above a value. So I want you to use the data from example one and I want you to determine the percentage of the data that fall above 0.347 kilogram. So you can view this 0.347 kilogram as an upper limit of the specification for the weight of cereal. So any cereal that is packaged above this weight can also be considered as unqualified. So first, you still need to find the standardized normal, uh, the standardized normal value. So the z associated with the xi is xi 0.347 minus the mean 0.297 divided by the standard deviation 0.024. So this gives us the z2 equals to plus 2.08. So this is um, the z value and from the table a we can find the area below the curve for this Z2, aka the percentage of uh, the values that is below the Z2. So what is the percentage of the values above Z2? I want to uh, emphasize that the total area under the standard normal distribution is 1, right? So you use 1 
minus the area below Z2, and that gives you the area above Z2. So you use 1 minus the point 0.98112, and then that gives you uh, 0 0.0188, or equivalently 1.88%. So we can claim that 1.88% of the data are above the 0.347 kilogram. Example 3 asks you to compute the percentage between two values. So let's look at the statement. A large number of tests of line voltage to home residence shows a mean of 118.5 volts and a population standard deviation of 1.20 volts. So I want you to determine the percentage of data between 116 and 120 volts. So what you can read from the table A is the area under the curve uh, for each number, that is the percentage of values below a value, right, below a, a given number. So if I want you to find the percentage between two values, then you can use the area 3 minus the area 2. So the area 3 is the percentage of that of the uh, population that is under the 120. And you take off the tail, which is the percentage of populations that is below the value of 116, right? And then this the difference between area 3 and area 2 gives you the area 1, which is the target of our example, the percentage between the two values, 120 and 116. Okay. So now you need to find the percentage associated with uh, 120 and 116, and then find the difference. So the Z2 is the standardized normal value for 116, right? So you use the 116 minus the mean, the 118.5, and then divided by the standard deviation, 1.20, and this gives us minus 2.08. And Z3 is the standardized normal value associated with 120. So you use 120 minus the, the mean, the 116, 18.5 divided by the standard deviation 1.20 and that gives you the plus 1.25 okay so now from table a you can read what is the area below z2 right which is uh, 0 0.0188 and what is the area below z3 which is the 1.0 89.44, and then you take the difference of the area 3 and area 2, and that gives you the area 1, which is 0.8756, or equivalently 87.56%. And therefore, we can conclude that 87.56% of the data are between 116 and 120 volts. This slide shows you how to find the area under the normal curve for Z3 and Z2. So Z3 equals to plus 1.25, right? And then it corresponds to this number, 0.8944. So this is the percentage of the number of uh, the percentage of the data that will fall below the Z3. And the Z2 equals to minus 2.08, and it locates this number. So this number stands for uh, the area and the normal curve for Z2, and as aka the percentage of the data that is below the minus 2.08 in our population.
Okay. So example four gives you the area below a certain number and then wanting to find the mean. So here's the statement. If it is desired to have 12.1% of the line voltage below 115 volts, how should the mean voltage be adjusted? And we already know that the standard deviation is sigma equals to 1.20 volts. So the known values that we have is the xi, the percentage of data below xi, and also the standard deviation. What we want to find is the mean, the mu. Okay. So step one is that you need to find the z value that has the 12.1% uh, of the population below it. So you need to first find the standardized normal value and then you reversely you find what is the mu value corresponding to this z. Step one, what is the z value that has 12.1% aka 0.121 of the population below it? So now we're using a reverse direction in, look, in looking up the table A. So you need to first find this value in the table and then to tell what is the corresponding z value. Okay. So in all these numbers, you can locate that this 0 0.1210 is here, right? This 12.1% is here. And then it corresponding to the minus 1.17, right? So the z that uh, equals to minus 1.17 has 12.1% of population below it. And step two is to find uh, the mean corresponding to this Z1, right? So we already know that this Z1 equals to minus 1.17 and this Xi equals to 115 and also the uh, standard deviation equals to 1.20. So now you solve for the mean, right? And this mean is computed as, min as 115 minus 1.2 times minus 1.17. And this gives us uh, this average, uh, this mean of 116.440 volts. So you should verify if this number is correct from the computation. Okay. And so now we can claim that if you want to have 12.1% of the values to be less than 115 volts, then the mean voltage should be 116.4 volts. So we have assignment three associated with the normal curve. I ask you to do two questions, 45 and 47. And for the format requirement or the instructions, please refer to the assignment two on Moodle. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture.